All right, we're starting to get a um, a good shape out of our um, our object here. Uh, the um, the first thing I'm going to do in this lesson, though, is I'm going to make sure that I don't lose the uh, the work that we have um, already done. And to do that, I'm going to um, save this tool. Now, um, I've found and I've uh, also heard from other sources that it's best when you save a tool to bring it down to the first subdivision level and so uh, perhaps it's superstitious but I'm just going to reduce it down to um, or bring it down to uh, subdivision level one and then save it as a tool and we can just save that in the data folder um, that should be fine and I'm going to uh, uh, just leave it as the um, the uh, file name that we imported the object as. Okay, so with that saved, we can go back to our highest level subdivision and, uh, and continue our working. Now, uh, the material that we have on this object at the moment is the uh, matte cap red wax material, um, which uh, is a very good material if you're working with a very high poly object. It can be um, really good at showing indentations and uh, and various sort of uh, subtle um, uh, features of your of your of your mesh. Uh, but for uh, what I want, I'm just going to switch over to basic material. And basic material is very similar to uh, applying a um, uh, a simple sort of uh, fong shader or um, uh, a blin shader in in uh, Maya and so with that selected I'm just going to um, hold down control and shift and just select this portion here and just to get this sort of crease out from around the sides here uh, I'm just going to make sure that this is the only thing that we have selected and then I'm going to go down to a new menu deformation now deformation has all of these um, different options that you can apply um, and uh, uh, you can get some really amazing uh, effects out of these um, I will recommend that you uh, play around with these particularly with uh, masked um, parts of, uh, uh, of your object and uh, we'll be going into um, some of these a little bit later on anyway but uh, with this uh, with this portion of our mesh visible I'm just going to take the smooth deformation and I'm just going to crank that up to a hundred you'll notice that it um, it changed the depth of our creasing around that but I'd like to uh, do that a couple more times just to sort of smooth it out as much as we can and you can see that it looks like uh, hang on I think I might have uh, used inflate there I'll just make sure it's as smooth I think that's about as smooth as it's going to get and uh, now if I uh, bring back the rest of our mesh you can see that we have this nice sort of smooth uh, quarter pipe shape and this is going to be our default um, a default base for uh, the shapes that we're going to um, we're going to carve out um, because this is our base um, configuration for this mesh, and because it's uh, it's pretty much perfect how it is as a as a starting point. Uh, I want to preserve that shape, so um, any um, further sculpting that I um, that I apply to this, I'm just going to put that on separate layers. So I'll come under the Layers uh, menu and I'll press New. Now, um, just to show you what uh, you can do with layers, I'll just go back to the um, standard brush and um, I'll just take the intensity down a little bit. Uh, now, um, I probably recommend that if you can uh, it's a good idea to use a stylus or a, a, a tablet um, such as those that are made by Wacom 
Um, for this uh, demonstration, I'm using simply a mouse. So if, if um, you only have access to a mouse uh, with your computer, you should be able to uh, come up with similar effects to what, to what um, I'll be able to get out of this program. And if you um, don't um, have a mouse with your computer, then it's probably about time that you think about uh, maybe choosing another profession. Okay, now with the um, with this layer um, selected, I've just applied a little bit of um, a little bit of sculpting onto the surface, and uh, you can see if we switch off um, this layer, the uh, the sculpting goes away. Uh, another thing that we can do is with the intensity, uh, this is currently set to one. We can boost this up to um, something like close to 2.5 and that's two and a half times um, the sculpting that we did. It just takes the values of, of whatever we uh, apply to this level and it's, uh, and it's multiplied by this value. In fact you can bring it down to less than one if you want to make it more subtle and you can even take it into the negative if you want to reverse uh, what, you, what you've applied to that layer and that can come in very handy. I'm just going to set this back to 1 and uh, I'm also going to undo the, um, the sculpting that I applied to, um, to that layer. So uh, as we um, go along we will have uh, different layers for different levels of um, detail that we apply to our mesh with um, different levels of um, detail at different levels of uh, subdivision as well. And um, I think uh, that's enough for this, uh, this particular video. Uh, we'll get started on the, um, the detailing of our mesh and the actual artistic expression um, portion, the real creativity comes into it um, in, the next, uh, in the next video.